wish I could tell you. I mean, if I knew how to solve the, uh, you know, the slow starts we've been getting off to, I mean, we would have done it by now. But uh, I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. I mean, I guess uh, football gods didn't smile on us there at the end like they have been recently. But, uh, hopefully, you know, this will be a, this will be a good film session for us to go into tomorrow and uh, learn from our mistakes, and hopefully we can uh, get off to a, a faster start against Boise. So Aaron, this is a second or third game where you guys let a few points get scored early on and then really put the clamps on defensively. Is there something that changes defensively or changes in how they attack you guys? Or uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys. I don't know what it is. I mean, how many, I think we let up, what, like 10 points in the last three quarters? Or yeah. Like that. I, I don't know what it is. We don't, we don't really change anything that up that much in the game plan. We just, I just think that, I think that maybe it might be a factor of us having too many young guys out there. This is uh, have a little trouble, you know, adjusting to the speed of the game at the beginning of the game, and then uh, once they get used to it, once they get used to seeing all the fans, and uh, just you know, you can't really replicate going up against Fresno State with our scout team. Mm -hmm. And uh, once they get used to the speed of the game, then uh, that's when I think we really start playing good football. Unfortunately, we did play really bad football for the first the quarter. So. Aaron, how deflating was it, Matthews? First, the first play that's finish and to go major like that was it deflating though, or? I mean, it wasn't. I, I didn't think it was really. We came to the sidelines and we said, uh, you know, we scored fast against La Tech, and you know they came back and were kicking our butts for a long time. It was just because they scored a cheap one on us on the get-go doesn't mean that this game is lost. And uh, obviously, it wasn't. We almost had it there at the end. But uh, I mean, I mean, guys were guys were in the right spots. We just weren't making plays as usual. You know, usually it's what our problem is. And uh, no, we weren't. We weren't deflated. We were ready to go. Just one mistake. Did you guys have the feel on the sideline that all of a sudden things were starting to go your way and that it was gonna, those gods were gonna smile on you again? <laughs> Absolutely, there at the end. I mean, I thought it's 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter. I mean, it's a two possession ball game. We still could win this thing. And uh, I mean, I, I, I always feel like with one big, one big play can change the momentum of the game. And we had, you know, a bunch of big third, uh, three and outs and momentum was swinging our way. And I really thought we had a chance there at the end. What did you think of that measurement in the second quarter? <laughs> well, I told you what I thought about that measurement, I'd probably get in trouble, so I won't talk about it. I thought we had it, they thought they they thought they made it, so they made the calls. Just play what we but play it seems what they like they, they put the chains down and pulled them up quick. That's, that's what it seemed like to me, too. <laughs> How's and the arm? It's fine. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for caring. <laughs> sure. <laughs>